morning, everybody. Day number two here at Bassmaster Open here on Logan Martin, getting ready to go. We are really late today. We are boat 157. So we're just gonna hang out here and watch all the other boats take off. We got Lager over there. What up, dude? What up? You ready to go? Ready. You ready to catch them? Hey, it's day number two, not one. Yeah, it's day number two. We are ready to go. We got to make a big comeback today. We had 9-2 yesterday. We're sitting at like 118, but weights are super tight. Lager had 9-10 and he's like 98, so almost 20 places better than me. So, the goal today is execute on every bite that we get, put them all in the boat, and we'll have a pretty good day. So that's the plan. Day number two, coming at you. Boy, you looked a lot bigger on the screen, bud. It might be, it might be number one, though. Thing came off the bottom and smoked it. Yeah, you gotta let that thing sink a bit. We're we're out here. Let's try that. I think we got all the bad juju out of the boat now. We don't have a bump board, mm -hmm. and I just lost something big. Yep. I don't know what it was. It shot up off the bottom for this thing, so I'm thinking it was a bass, but that's it. No more bad stuff today. Now we just put them in the boat. Yeah. Big old crappie. That's a keeper. Yeah. That's like a 14 incher. <clears throat> nice work, dude. Thank you. Slow and steady, right? Yeah. Catch the big ones, I catch the babies. <laughs> I think we're gonna run to 
another little pocket real quick. That's a keeper. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now do me a favor and don't eat the little dude that's in there, okay? I kind of need him right now. Back to work. Back to work. Thank you. Thank Right in here, buddy boy. Yeah, sir. That's why they're acting funny. They're large mouths. Yes. Two is me. One more, and then we gotta get rid of that little bait. Just to be sure. <laughs> oh man. Yes, yes, we're getting better. Thank you, Lord. Man, I just had, he puts these gut feelings in your stomach for a reason. I didn't fish here at all yesterday, and he's like, you need to go there, like now. I was like, okay. I'm going, I'm going. These spots can be so fickle, but when they decide that they're gonna eat, mm -hmm. you better hold on, because they, boom. They ain't, they ain't playing around.
How are they doing? You're doing That's dead. Dead? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, that's stone dead. Damn, yeah, we gotta keep rid of that. You gotta keep it. Gosh, dang it, dude. How are they dying? The two freaking bigger fish are dead. Gosh, that pisses me off. Yeah, they were fine. It just happened. Gosh, dude, that sucks. The water's not even hot. Like, I don't... Now I really gotta catch, like, a five. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what else to do.
you another dead one? Yeah. I got another dead one. Oh, are they all going to die today? I don't, I don't get it. You got an oxygenator going, you got water pumping in. I got it on recirculate, so it's not pumping in hot water. You can catch a big one like you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... This is probably going to be the area we spend the majority of the rest of our time. Because there's, I mean, all these boulders, yeah. at least in practice, like if you found a bigger rock, there was a fish sitting on it. And I figured they were betting. Uh -huh. So it's like, it's only a matter of time until yeah. you find a better one, you know? Yes, they seem to be active, very yeah. active. Just need, give me a four, give me a four pounder. Something to make up all the deficit for the freaking dead ones that I got. How much weight is the penalty? It's a quarter of a pound. Each? Mm hmm So like if I have four dead fish, that's a whole pound that I'm losing. And I'm already gonna be losing three quarters of a pound, which is, if I was anywhere near a check, now I'm not. If I catch a big one, we'll see. Fish down his throat. We gotta get rid of that, that large mouth. I'm queued up if you can't tell. Time to hit something when we get closer. One fifty six. Thanks, man. Well, that is it for day number two here on Logan Martin. Whew! Frustrating to say the least. Um, caught a lot more fish today. Got it dialed in a little bit more, did some different stuff with that shaky head, went to a smaller worm, lighter weight, got a lot more bites. So I got that dialed in, had a better day, but man, I just hate killing fish. Like that, that is literally, you're looking at dollar bills floating in your live well. Now even without the penalty, I still would have came up a little bit short because my day one was pretty bad. I didn't do a recap on day one either, so I'll do that in a second. But day number two, definitely a very frustrating day. Um, ended up in 88th place, but so day number one, I just couldn't keep anything buttoned. I couldn't do anything right, and I'll do a whole tournament recap about everything. But just to get that in there, just so y'all know, I don't know what the heck was going on. I made adjustments, 
and the fish wouldn't take, they, they wouldn't bite that swim bait well. I lost a big one on a shaky head. Like it was just a, one of those things where everything just goes wrong and you don't know why. You'd make some adjustments, you try to change to, make, to do the right thing. And sometimes you swerve and you should have swerved the other way and it just didn't work. So I went up shallow and did something completely different and ended up catching a couple, but man, nine pounds is not good. Put me about mm, less than middle of the pack. So day two definitely made some adjustments, uh, changed my rotation, went and fished some brush that I didn't fish on day one, which was loaded with fish. Um, not mad about my decision making, just really wish I could have kept those fish alive. Uh, I spent some time looking for some bigger largemouth, you know, like that's what you got to do here. You needed a bigger bite. I needed a bigger bite every day to make it something happen and it just didn't work out. So it is what it is, but we're going to take the Vexus back to Doug. Huge shout out to him for letting me use his boat. I cannot thank him enough. I know like all of us that fish, our boats are our pride and joy. Like this, this is our office. Everything has to work right. Everything has to be flawless. And for him just to be like, yeah, man, take my boat. As soon as he heard about the accident, he was like, yeah. You can use my boat. If you need my boat, you can have it. Huge shout out to him. Can't thank him enough. His Garmin Electronics setup is exactly the same as mine, which made the transition super easy. I was using that a lot today too. Scoping around and finding isolated rock and isolated brush, and that's how I was catching my fish. But that is a wrap here on Logan Martin. It's been an awesome week. It's been a lot of fun. You know, the tournament is what the tournament is. You can't change it now, it's done. But next up, is the Sturgeon Bay open. I'm praying that my trailer is fixed, my boat is done, and I'm able to get out on the water sometime before the tournament actually starts. But, yeah, looking forward to it. <sighs> Big breath after this one. Thank y'all for watching. Catch you on the next one.